Hi, I'm Rachel McVeigh. I'm a Google Certified Trainer and Google Certified Coach in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the United States. I'm going to answer the question, how can I deliver synchronous learning, which can relate to creativity and innovation and differentiation in Google Classroom. In today's world, students and their classmates are often learning on their own schedules at different times from one another. So when teachers and students have the opportunity to teach and learn with everyone present at the same time, it is essential to use that time well. Leveraging a tool like Google Classroom can help keep everyone organized and ready to go for a synchronous lesson. It lets teachers and students use that valuable time effectively by serving as a launch pad for the creative and innovative activities that the teacher has in store. First, I'll explain what synchronous learning is. Then, I will share ways to use Google Classroom that can help students know when to get online for synchronous lessons and can encourage collaboration during that synchronous time. Finally, I'll share an example of one way to close out a synchronous lesson. So what is synchronous learning? Synchronous learning is when the teacher and students are teaching and learning together at the same time. While this certainly happens when the teacher and students are physically in the same place, it can also happen if everyone is online together in the same space at the same time. Google Classroom can be a helpful tool in making sure that students are at the right place at the right time for an online synchronous lesson. Some teachers may opt to use the stream in Google Classroom to post an announcement stating the date, time, as well as where students should go to start participating in a synchronous lesson. One strategy that might be helpful is to create an assignment in the classwork page that states the details of the start of the lesson. Teachers can set a due date and time that aligns with the start of the lesson. This will let students think of coming to the lesson as an assignment. It will also show up on their to-do lists and calendars. When everyone is learning at the same time, Teachers will want to capitalize on those opportunities by facilitating activities that encourage collaboration and creativity. Want students to access multiple files within the synchronous lesson? Consider uploading them all to a single classroom assignment so materials for the lesson are all packaged together. In the text of the assignment, teachers can even include a numbered list of the names of the files so that students can see the sequence of what they'll need to access, and so the numbers provide a quick and easy way to reference the materials. And just because everyone is learning at the same time, it doesn't mean that everyone must learn in the same way. You can always create specific assignments and files for specific students and groups of students right within classroom to make sure that the learning needs of all students are met. After a great lesson of teaching and learning together, end it with something meaningful. Jamboard is a fantastic platform for encouraging online interaction among students. What's more, jams can be uploaded to classroom assignments just like your other drive files, allowing students easy access and giving teachers the ability to view student work and interact on the jam in real time, all from the learning hub that is Google Classroom. We have all come to value synchronous learning more than ever. When those opportunities arise, Google Classroom can be just the tool to make sure that everyone is in the right place at the right time. Using Google Classroom as a launchpad for engaging activities that promote collaboration and creativity can help teachers and students make the most of that important time together. Thank you for watching and have fun using Google Classroom for synchronous learning with your students.